Oh, I had no idea I even left that thing on. Oh, I'm just painting my toenails. Got lots of free time to do stuff like that nowadays. <laughs> well, welcome to my little corner of the web, katieinacorner.com. I'm absolutely thrilled that you're here. You know, when we hit publish a little over a week ago, I had no idea the kind of response we would get on Twitter, on Facebook, on the blog itself, all the comments and the huge amounts of traffic. You guys have really just bless me. And I thank you so much for your support. It's really been a lot of fun getting started again. So that being said, I'm starting a video series now, a series of how to's. We're going to call these how to Tuesdays. This is the first installment. And this one is called how to be a perfect mother <laughs> from someone who knows. Me. I know what you're going to ask. What qualifies you, Katie, <laughs> to give this perfect advice? Well, I'll have you know, I've been a mother for almost two and a half years. Okay. And I've read a lot of books on the topic. So, yeah. Step number one to being a perfect mom is to take care of you. Who is taking care of you? If you're not taking care of you, you can't take care of them. And this includes 45 minutes of exercise at least five times a week. I mean, that's not hard, right? I've got a yoga studio set up right in our basement. And I spend a lot of time in there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's easy. You just go in there and, and do it. So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Step number two is to understand that perfect meals equal perfect children. None of these food dies. Hot dogs. Fast food, please. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell you the last time. That I, it's just, it's, it's not really, it's not really something you want to do that often unless you really need it really fast. And, and then, but usually I run out back to the garden and, um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure there are, could be tomatoes back there or so we use you know fresh that perfect food <laughs> for perfect kids <laughs> that's my motto this third one is my favorite this is especially for you moms of toddlers who are really dealing with those moments of just and you can't quite understand what sets them off and you're like hey you want some milk and he's like ah! and and it just it, um, it, you, you just don't understand what sets them off, right? So, uh, <laughs> so this is for, for you, um, to sort of help you. And this came from my mom and she basically said to me, reason with him. And I thought, of course. Because because that's exactly what you need to do with your two-year-olds. Um, that's about the age when reason really kicks in. So I just sit him down and say, sweetheart, why is it that you have stripped yourself naked and are running through the house screaming bloody murder? And he looks at me and he's like, mom, you put my milk in the wrong cup. And that's when we're really able to connect. That's that's when the back and forth dialogue really happens. And that just makes me feel like a perfect mom. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with one last thought, moms, and that is to push, push, push your kids to success. No more of these excuses. You know, I'm only four. I don't care. We put headphones on my belly when our kids were in utero, and I am pretty sure they're playing Beethoven now. 
I mean, it sounds so close. And that's what having children is all about, is really living your dreams through them. It's your second chance, or third or fourth or fifth, depending on how many you have. Nobody puts Kenny in a corner, nobody gonna hold her down. Gonna talk about moms and stuff and how to keep the crazies down. Nobody puts Kenny in a corner, nobody better even try. Cooking, cleaning, keeping it real, still she gets the darkest try. Nobody. Hold up.